Okay, this time we are going to do the division okay, by a two-digit whole number. So previously we did the multiplication. Right, so now we're going to go into the division. Right. Okay, uh, you have already learned about division. All right. But here, basically we want to improve okay uh, using an example okay we want to improve by shortening the time okay we take to do the division because uh, during a test or during an examination okay time is a factor all right uh, so we need to be accurate we need to be correct we need to have the right answer but at the same time we want to finish the paper on time or ahead of time if possible okay so I'm gonna use this very simple example all right of a uh, division so 80 divided by 20 okay so of course uh, you can do it the normal way right, which we already learned in the class all right but we are, I'm gonna just show you a different approach so we have 80 divided by 20 okay of course the uh, divide signs over here but we can also right, write it this way right, 80 over 20 okay we can write it this way so we already know that there are two ways of writing this but one thing that i do notice is there are the zeros at the back you notice that there are the zeros at the back right so this 80 has one zero the 20 also have one zero at the back Seeing that, basically, I can just cut it off, cut off the zero, or right, just like that. Okay, all right. So if you cut off one zero on the top, you cut off one zero at the bottom. Okay, or the numerator, which is the top, or and the denominator, which is the bottom. Okay, if you cut off, uh, you can cut off two zeros from the top, but you can cut off two zeros at the bottom. Right, but they must be the same number. So if I cut out one zero from the top, one zero from the bottom, I left with a smaller number, which is eight over two. Okay. Now the advantage of taking out the zeros is it makes the number smaller. Why? Because now we are not dealing with eighty and twenty big number anymore. We are dealing with eight and two, and this time it's a lot easier for us to answer this question because we know the answer is actually 4 well, but actually I'm not so interested in the answer I'm more interested in being able to reduce all right, the number make it smaller so it becomes easier and less likely to make mistake and of course get towards the answer faster right, so that's the whole idea uh, of this particular short session okay but of course uh, if you can't take away the zeros for instance then of course we will look at the uh, common value that both number can be divided by and then we try to reduce it okay we try to reduce it again again trying to achieve the smaller number so that it's easier for us to work with 